Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just realized I have absolutely no jewelry on. It is super early on a Sunday morning and I just completely forgot to put my jewelry on. So y'all don't care, just an observation. Another observation, if you've been following me for any sort of time, you know my lips have this issue where they break out every three months or so. So if I look like I have a fat lip over here, that is why. Today we are here to talk about all of my empties and I have quite a bit. The majority of this is skincare, body care, hair care, per usual. I'm not gonna go in any particular order and I think if you, again, have been following me, you're gonna realize I am a creature of habit and once I find something that works, I tend to stick to it. I am going to be doing some skincare routines coming up. I honestly don't know if they're much different than the ones that I have done most recently because that just seems to be working for me but i will do them anyways because i've had lots of requests let's start out with i was about to say things that are always in my empties but a lot of these are always in my empties <laughs> let's just start out with my supplements this is the jane ardell skin ultimate skin hair and nails i've been using this for almost the past year i would say and i absolutely love it it is a comprehensive supplement sleeve so it comes you kind of peel it off they're perforated and it has pretty much everything you need for good skin hair and nails within that one sleeve and i'm going to tell you i cannot i'm someone who has not been able to take biotin in the past i can take this product that has biotin in it, it does not break me out and every other biotin i have tried has broken me out so that says a lot and it's why i keep using it also because i just feel like my skin loves it and looks better with continued use. Another thing that's always in my empties, the Jane Ardell Retractable Brow Pencil. Again, something I have been using, I wanna say probably over a year, maybe even a year and a half. And I think all of these, let me see. Well, three of them are ash blonde and one of them is blonde. Now, I kind of tend to keep both colors on hand because if I'm wearing a full face of makeup, I will go with ash blonde. If I'm not wearing makeup, I will go with blonde because it's a, it's not as dark, it's not as harsh. And when I have a full face of makeup on, I kind of need that balance. But when I don't, I like to use a little bit of a lighter color. So obviously I wear makeup more than I don't. So I go through more ash blonde, but I do always have some blonde on hand as well. And then the only other thing for makeup is the Allure Single Shadow from Jane Ardell. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. I mean, there's a tiny bit left, but not really enough for me to be able to get a brush in. Yes, I use this for eyeshadow, but I mainly use it for highlight. I love this for a good face highlight. There's just something about it. It's perfect for my skin tone. It's not too shimmery or sparkly. It just gives a very gorgeous sheen to the cheeks. I only have two body care products, which is kind of crazy because I tend to go through those a lot, but I'm also obtaining more of those than normal because I've really gotten into like body oils, especially. So I think that's why I'm not finishing as many because I just keep getting more. <laughs> this is the First Day Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. I talked about this in my last current favorites video. This is the smaller one that I mentioned going through and then they sent me the big one and I love this stuff. I use this probably once or twice a week, usually on the days that I'm gonna self tan because I like to exfoliate before that anyways. But this one has 10% AHA, so it's really good for that like bumpy chicken skin, the um, keratosis pilaris that a lot of us tend to get on our or arms, arms, <laughs> on our arms, and then I get it on the back of my legs as well. So I really, really like this. That's the small one that I went through. And then this one is the Glowbiotics Probiotic Skincare Probiotic Body Lotion in Citrus Coconut. I did like this. I loved the way it smelled and it was a good body lotion. I don't think that it was any more spectacular than other body lotions that I have used in the past, but I did like it and the scent was really nice. I'm going to try to go in order of how I do my skincare to try to make this somewhat organized. Uh, for cleansing oil, I have the Leilani Pample Mousse Tropical Enzyme Cleansing Oil. I love this stuff. I actually repurchased it. If y'all know, MAC Cleanse Off Oil has always been my favorite and I still love that. I still have one in my cabinet ready to be used 
but this one is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more emollient. It's got a marvelous tropical smell and I just really enjoy it. It doesn't bother my eyes. It doesn't leave a film over my eyes. I like it. I probably use way more than they recommend because I like to really load up on my cleansing oil, but it gets rid of my makeup wonderfully. And Leilani is more of a clean line. If that matters to you, I totally recommend this. And then for actual face wash or face cleanser, I have gone back to my tried and true most favorite by Sunita's. As you can see, I have two empties. This is the Milk and Honey Cleanser for dry skin. I mean, I have more like normal skin, but this is just so moisturizing. It smells amazing. It does the job of cleansing the face. It is an all around perfect cleanser for me. And it's been a favorite for a reason. And I just got off of using it for a while, trying new things as we all tend to do. And I came back to it and I don't see myself leaving anytime soon. Love it so much. I have a backup of it in my cabinet as well. As far as cleansing my eye makeup, y'all know, Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover. This has been years, like, I mean, probably five years that this has been what I have used and what I will continue to go to for when it comes to removing my eye makeup. I, I use a lot of primer for my mascara, so I tend to need a little bit more help getting it off at night. I can't speak. It's just too early, I guess. And this is my favorite eye makeup remover. Again, stuff, stuff you see in every single empties video. But if you're new, there you go. That's my favorite eye makeup remover. Now, before I go to serums in my skincare steps, I always go for a mist, something to spritz my face with, make sure it's really nice and hydrated so those serums can sink in to the best of their ability. And I have three here that I've gone through. This is the Clarity Take Your Vitamins Daily Mineral Spray for Thirsty Skin. I actually had a mini one that I got in a gift with purchase, and I refilled that one with this or whatever other spray, but mostly with this, and travel with it. And I love it. It's great. Clarity is also one of those more like physician's grade, cleaner skincare lines. I've tried this one from Indeed Labs, and this is the Hydroluron Moisture Mist. I didn't love this. I ended up giving it to Chad. I'm trying to get him to spray in between steps. Um, it just, it wasn't my favorite. I don't know why. I feel like, I feel like when I sprayed it on, it kind of either wasn't strong enough to leave that moisture or it sunk in too fast to do any good for me. So it wasn't my favorite, but it is empty. And then one of my all time favorites, as y'all know, the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Facial Mist. So good. So good. I would say out of all the facial mist, this one and the Jordan Samuel are still my favorite. This smells wonderful. It performs great. It's just all around a fabulous mist. Okay, next is toner. Vision Soothing Facial Rinse. Y'all know I just can't get away from this. Love it. Have loved it. Will forever love it. It's a little bit thicker. Its viscosity is a little bit thicker. It still sinks into whatever cotton pad you put it into well enough. It doesn't sit on the top. So it's easy to apply to the skin. It's so moisturizing without being greasy or oily. It's just fabulous. I feel like I just sing its praises all the time and it's for a good reason. I love it. And I know a lot of y'all have started using it since I have been talking about it so much and also love it, which just makes me happy. All the serums, so many serums. <laughs> all right, let's go and start with what I put on first after I tone in my morning routine and that is Growth Factor. I currently have three empty smaller Neogenesis Growth Factor bottles. And this has quickly become my favorite growth factor. Neogenesis is a fabulous line. I absolutely love it. You'll see some other empties from them in here. This is the small version. I have two of the recoveries and one of the booster. I have an entire video of Neogenesis that I will put up in a card where I go over the, the whole line that I have, which is quite a bit of stuff. I'll tell you the difference between the recovery and the booster and all of that in that video. I don't want to spend too much time on it here because I have so much to talk about, but I love them. I'm currently going through a larger bottle of the booster. It's 
fabulous. I mean, my skin loves that line. The next thing I do is my trifecta with Truth Treatments, and I only have one empty out of that, and it is the Hyaluronic Mineral Height. Hyaluronic Mineral Hydrator. Y'all need to go back to bed. And this is, again, part of the trio that I use with the vitamin C, the mist, and then this. I had this as a backup, so I knew when I ran out, I would be able to start immediately on another one as I did. Currently going through that, I'm actually almost out of that vitamin C, but I still have a little bit left, so I didn't put it in this video. But this is my latest MD from Truth Treatments. After that, I will go in with some kind of hyaluronic acid again because I just can't get enough. <laughs> and the one that I have empty for this video is from Medicaid and it's the Hydra, no, Hydrate B5 Intense. I've gone through, this is my second one. I've talked about this before. I think it's a fabulous hyaluronic acid serum. It has a little bit of lactic acid in it as well. It's just great. I think Medicaid is a pretty fabulous line. I've used a few other things from them that I've really enjoyed. Love this. I'm currently not using this because I'm using my Chantecaille Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which I also really love. Oh, I skipped a vitamin C that I went through. This is the Revision Skincare C Plus Correcting Complex 30% Vitamin C. When I did an event with them in Austin in January, they had little goodie bags and this was part of that. And it is such a good vitamin C. So. There was a time when I was using this. I was not using my truth treatments. They're both fabulous. I know a lot of people ask me what vitamin C is the best. And I feel like the truth treatments and this are my favorite. And this little 0.5 fluid ounce, which is available for purchase as a trial size, lasted me forever. Forever. I thought it was never going to end. I'm like, this is like the never ending bottle of vitamin C. So definitely a good value for your money as well. Okay, for moisturizer in the morning, I went through a Neogenesis Light Moisturizer. Again, so fabulous. I love all of the Neogenesis moisturizers, and this is the one that I have chosen to use in the morning. I'm currently going through another one from Neogenesis. No, Neocutis. They sound a lot alike. Um, but once I finish that one up, I will probably repurchase the one from Neogenesis. And then finally, y'all know the most important step of any skincare routine is your SPF. And I have my two favorite SPFs here that I have gone through. This is the Elta MD UV Restore Broad Spectrum SPF 40. And this is the Elastin Hydra Tint Pro Mineral Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. This is SPF 36. Now I know people are like, well, what's the difference? How do you choose what you're going to wear? It kind of depends for me. This has more coverage. This has more of like a tinted moisturizer coverage. So if I'm not wearing makeup, then this is what I'm gonna wear. Or if I just wanna wear like a light dusting of some kind of powder foundation on top, and I just don't wanna mess with much more, this is what I will wear. If I know I'm gonna wear full face of makeup, I will wear this. I went to church camp as a counselor this summer. I only took this because I did not wear makeup. What is the point, please tell me, of wearing makeup at church camp as a counselor, but I wore this and it was very easy to reapply upon itself, even though it has a little bit more coverage than this. They're both very easy to reapply. And when you are not wearing makeup, even when you are, but especially when you're not, it's important to reapply the same SPF or the same type. So like, obviously if I'm wearing makeup, I'm not gonna go over my makeup with this. I'll use the powder SPF, but since I didn't have that on, I reapplied this and it just worked great. And then when I was in Florida at the beach and could care less whether I had coverage, I took this, reapplied it, and it worked great. So those two have just become my absolute favorites. I work through them together and usually both of them end up in my empties at the same time. Now let's talk about nighttime. I don't know. I don't have a clue where the top to this went, but this is the first serum that I use at night after I tone, and it is the Osmosis Rescue Epidermal Repair Serum. I cannot use, and I, I know I've said this a lot, but if you're new, I cannot use Osmosis Skincare as a whole. There is something in it, I don't know if it's in just one product or if it's an ingredient that's in multiple products that my skin cannot handle, and it breaks out very quickly, and it takes a long time to recover when using osmosis. I've tried it a couple of times, it just does not work. However, I was convinced to try the rescue and because it has like four or five ingredients. I mean, it has just really does not have a lot of ingredients at all. And I know it's a diehard fan favorite of osmosis lovers. 
and I love it. This is my second bottle, second or third bottle. I'm working on another one. And I do feel like it repairs your epidermal layer. I just, you know what I feel like the most improvement in my skin since using this is the redness has really dialed down. I think this in tandem with my Retin-A has just done wonders for my redness because my Retin-A has the azelaic acid in it and I love it. So I'm going to keep using it. And I do use this as a first step because that's what I've been told to do. Um, I've heard that from people at Osmosis and other people who sell it, that it needs to be used as your first step serum. So I do. I'm pretty sure you can use it both morning and night, but I just use it at night. Another serum I use at night and absolutely adore, as you will see, is the Elastin Skincare Restorative, St Restorative Skin Complex, y'all. I hope you haven't cut off from this video because I can't speak. I'm just having a, a real hard time. <laughs> the Restorative Skin Complex with Trihex Technology. Elastin Skincare is another favorite brand of mine. Again, we talked about the SPF. I'm going to talk about something else here in a second. It's just fabulous. And I've gone through two of these. I use this after my rescue, two pumps every night. My skin just loves it. I haven't felt a need to try anything else because again, my skin just loves it. Now, I didn't do this in correct order because on the nights that I use my Retin-A, which is five nights a week, I don't use it on the nights that I exfoliate. I will wash, tone, use my Retin-A, go about my business for 30 minutes to an hour to however long, depending on how early I wash my face. And then I will go back in with my serums and my moisturizer. This is the Retin-A that I use, have used for almost two years now and will continue to use. It is my favorite by far. This is from Curology. This has niacinamide, tretinoin, and azelaic acid, and I just love it. I love it so much. I feel like my skin loves it. I don't, I don't even peel from it anymore. I just get really happy skin. So again, I use this five days a week, all except the nights that I use my exfoliating toner, which I'm surprised I'm not out of, but I guess because I only use it two nights a week, it's still going strong. But I, again, I have a full video on Curology which I will link if you have more questions on it because I feel like I answer a lot more in that since it's fully dedicated to that product. Another Elastin favorite is the restorative eye treatment. My favorite eye cream of all time. Hands down, no questions asked. I can't stop using this because it just works for me. I'm almost out of the one that I'm using and I have a backup for that one. I just, I don't even try other ones anymore, which I know is probably not good when I have a YouTube video where I like to talk about skincare, but I feel like for certain products, especially eye cream, when you find one that you love and that works, it's just kind of like a no brainer to stick with it. And that's what I've done. So empty of that because there will always be empties of that <laughs> in my skincare routine. Another eye cream or eye serum that I finished is the Neogenesis Eye Serum. Wonderful. Love it. And I'll talk more about how I incorporate both of these when I do my skincare routine, but it's fabulous. And I did repurchase another one when I ran out. And this is actually an eye serum. So it's got a very different consistency than an eye cream does, which is why I'm able to use both in one routine. So again, I'll talk about that more when I film my PM skincare routine, but I mean, it's Neogenesis. I love it. Speaking of, my nighttime moisturizer is also from Neogenesis and it is the Barrier, Barrier Renewal Cream. I love this so much. I repurchased this promptly when I ran out. It's just my favorite. It's the perfect amount of moisture. I feel like this in tandem with the, the Osmosis Rescue, like my barrier, my skin barrier is just so happy every single night. So Neogenesis Barrier Renewal Cream. And then an oil that I finished up is from Fit Glow Beauty and it's the Cloud Collagen Oil. Now in the winter when my skin was drier and I was using my Tretinoin Cream, I did have some flaking. This one completely took the flaking away. It is a magical face oil in my opinion. Now I've not been using face oils as much in the summer, but once winter comes around again, I will be repurchasing this. It's just that good. And let's talk about neck creams. This is so dirty. And I don't know how I don't have another one on here. I thought I had two, but this is my favorite neck cream and it's the Revision Skincare Neck to Firm Advanced. Again, I've not found one that shows as much improvement in my neck area as this one. Do I think neck creams are a permanent solution? No, I think 
in order to get any kind of results out of them. It's something you have to use every single day. I use two pumps twice a day. So I use four pumps of this every single day and I just feel like it works. I've tried lots of neck creams and this one is the one that I feel like works the best. Two more products, a body product that I've missed is the Glowing Body Oil from Bay Harbor Beauty and Vanilla Sandalwood. Oh my goodness, y'all. These Bay Harbor Beauty body oils are so good. This Vanilla Sandalwood, I've talked about the scent. It's so, oh, so glorious. I just got her newest scent, the Brazilian Nut, which is supposed to smell a lot like the um, Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro, and it does. It smells so much like it. When she posted about that on Instagram, I promptly added that to my cart, as well as the body butter in that same scent, because it smells so good. But if you like a body oil, but you are a little hesitant to buy one because you are afraid maybe it doesn't sink in the skin as well, this sinks in the skin perfectly. The scent stays for a very long time. Love it so much, can't recommend it enough. And then finally, I ran out of one of my little mini Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoos. My favorite dry shampoo. It's just the one that works the best for my hair. I have very finicky, very fine, very thin, very sparse hair, <laughs> and I need something that will help clean it because I feel like it works best if I don't wash it very often. So I only wash it one to two times a week, which means I need a really good, strong dry shampoo in the interim days and this just works great for me because I feel like it cleans my hair along with giving it body and just all around pep it up a little bit. So I ran out of that. I have two more of these little travel sizes because I am traveling a lot more now and I find that I need them very often. That is it y'all. That's a long empties. I went through a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like it's only been like two, two and a half months since my last empties. But when you love it, you use it, and I use it. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, and safe, and that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.